Tia Maori has sweet reunion with cousin Jerome Wiggins after really needing family. Tia Maori really needed her family, and her cousin Jerome Wiggins came through. During the Friday, October 18th, episode of Tia Maori, my next act, the actress, 46, got overwhelmed while planning a birthday party for her six year old daughter, Cairo. Maori, who also shares 13 year old son, Cree, with ex husband Corey Hardricht, admitted she was missing her loved ones. Jerome is my cousin but not only is he family, he is like my best friend, she said in a confessional. I consider him someone I can vent to without judgment, he is like my anchor slash therapist. Maori called Wiggins, who told her he was on his way to visit her. It means everything to me that Jerome can drop everything and just come right by my side, she admitted. I am really needing family right now. So I talked to Jerome and he is coming. Jerome has always been my protector and he is my safety net. He knows me so well. Later in the episode, Wiggins and Maori shared a sweet reunion. Maori used the opportunity to reflect on how close she is with Wiggins and how much his later mother meant to her. I was so close to Jerome's mother because she was like another mother to me, she added. Just like Jerome, whenever I needed family or whenever I needed someone, she would get on a plane and come. Maori's comments about family come one month after a trailer for Tia Maori. My next act made headlines. At the time, a clip of Tia circulated online where she explained how she wished she and twin sister, Tamara Maori, were still close. I wish I could pick up the phone and call her, but that's just not where we are right now, she said in the premiere of her show. Tia subsequently clarified to Us Weekly how her comments were taken out of context. She explained that the only issue keeping her from seeing Tamara, 46, more was physical distance. You could hear it from me, and this is basically what I was insinuating. I feel like as we grow up, we all start our own families and their children need to lean on them. We begin to take on new roles and responsibilities within our lives, Tia explained to us. That is what that was all about. Tia noted that most of her relatives, including brother Taj Maori and father Timothy Maori, still reside in Los Angeles. Tamara, however, lives in Napa with her husband, Adam Housley, and kids Aiden, 11, and Araya, 9. In these transitions in life, sometimes you just want a hug and you just want someone to be as accessible as they used to be, and that is not the case, she continued. It's called life. Tia made it clear that she was on good terms with Tamara, adding, I love my sister very much. She loves me very much. We have a closeness and a beautiful connection. But that's what that was all about. It's just how life unfolds, and it happens with many families. Tia Maori was rejected from a legendary 1990s TV show. Actress Tia Maori has taken account of her life's many components while filming her new reality show, Tia Maori, My Next Act. The former teen idol is opening up her home and her heart to viewers, revealing the range of emotions she has experienced while navigating her newfound relationship status. Maori and her former husband, Corey Hardricht, split up in 2022 after nearly 15 years of marriage. Viewers also receive insight into the 17 again actress relationship with her sister, Tamara. Fans of the sisters will remember their side by side rise to fame on Sister, Sister, back in the early 90s. The dynamic duo also starred in multiple TV movies and a reality show. Tia Maori experiences life's realities on My Next Act. Cameras capture countless moments in the family reunion, actress new life as a single mother. Tia and Hardrick share two children, a 13-year-old son Cree and 6-year-old Cairo. A certain new reality of the actress life received a great deal of attention on social media. Following the release of a My Next Act, trailer wherein the sister, sister, actress shared that she and Tamara aren't as close as she would like, fans on social media were eager to find out why. When clarifying the reason was only due to distance, Tia went on to explain that life sometimes pushes our loved ones in different directions, and that is simply a reality many of us have to come to terms with. Tia went on to discuss the social media uproar with us weekly, revealing she wasn't surprised by it. When you've been in this industry for over 30 years, Things are always taken out of context and it is what it is. But the only thing that I can do is control my behaviors and be the best person that I could possibly be. And that's what both of us are. And we are incredible, inspiring examples, and we have been that all our lives, she said. So, why change that now? Tamara just isn't as accessible to her sister as she would prefer.
The Maori sisters are always together on Tia's Instagram as the actress seems fond of posting throwback pics with her sister. Even though the distance is keeping the Maori women apart, the sisters still chat on the phone. Tia recently told Entertainment Tonight that she had spoken to Tamara the previous day. She's just not as accessible, but I literally just talked to her yesterday, Tia explained, before going on to explain her sister's family commitments keep her from being able to chat as much as she would like. She is a mother, her children need her, she is also a wife, her husband needs her, she's in a different place in her life, she wants to do her thing and I'm doing my thing. Tia Maori reveals she was almost cast on this iconic TV show. Tia almost made her way into our hearts as a cast member in a very different sitcom. Before the first season of, Sister, Sister, in 1994, the up-and-coming actress was busy making her way through audition rooms as an aspiring starlet. She landed in the audition room for a show known as, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, reading for the part of the Banks family's young sister. Decades later, the TGIF staple is recalling how she felt after being passed on for the role of Ashley Banks. The role eventually went to Tatiana Alley, and, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, ran from 1990 until 1996. In a poignant revelation to People magazine, Tia discussed how she faced rejection at a young age. I think, rejection, never gets easier, she said, but I was really, really young, and I remember I had tried out for, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I believe the character was Ashley, and I didn't get it and I just felt dejected. Perspective taught Tia Maori an incredibly valuable lesson. Of course, Tia would eventually become one of the most recognizable faces of 1990s TV, but time and perspective would teach her a valuable lesson about the famous show she would eventually star on alongside her sister. Even though the young actress felt really, dejected, after losing out to Ali for Ashley Banks, she eventually realized the rejection brought her closer to where she was meant to be, and to the television show many of us know and love her for. Viewers would watch her and Tamara grow up on, Sister, Sister, as well. The show ran from 1994 until 1999. The, instant mom, actress continued to people, but as time went on, I realized that if I wasn't rejected, then I wouldn't have been able to do, sister, sister. You just have to trust the process and trust the journey and trust that what is for you is for you, and what is for you will never miss you. Tia Maori has shared her heart with Instagram the former child star is getting candid with her fans about some painful aspects of life and she is being honest about the methods and, cliché, realities of life that have helped her to cope with divorce. The mother of two was honest with her Instagram followers as she shared her perspective on healing. You strive to be a role model, teaching them resilience and self-care. You try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup, exercise, journaling your thoughts, meditation, and seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you had for the future, she said. It may sound cliché, but time does truly does have a way of soothing pain. Someday, I believe I'll be able to look back on this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. Tia Maori. My next act, airs on Fridays on WeTV.